When we travel, we often think of the buildings and tourist sites that we need to soak in, but there are hundreds of incredible travel experiences that highlight nature at its best. These incredible rock formations are waiting for you to come and visit. Wouldn't it be amazing to know all the history these rocks have witnessed in their lifetime? Here, Here are, are the most incredible, incredible rock formations, formations around, around the world. Hoodoos, Mexico The hoodoos really seem like an elaborate prank that just kept on going. They are tall pillars of sandstone with large caps balancing them on top. They're not actually man-made, but rather a result of millennia of erosion of different layers of sandstone. The erosion happened at various stages due to the harder and softer layers of rock and led to these strange rock towers. The hoodoos have become a popular tourist attraction in northwest Mexico where they're spread out over a 26 square kilometer area. They're in a dry and hot desert area and range from 5 to 100 feet or 1.5 meters to 30 meters. The Stone Forest, China This ancient forest of limestone rocks looks like something out of a fantasy novel. It is one of China's most visited tourist attractions. The landscape is not just limestone turrets though. The area is diverse with waterfalls, forests of trees, and deep green pools of water below. The forest is a result of 270 million years of erosion and seismic activity, resulting in forests of stone spanning 100,000 acres. The stone spires are known as karst, which is the name given to a landscape that was formed when soluble rocks like limestone are eroded to form rock structures. This stone forest boasts many features that only exist in this region of the world. It's so diverse in its karst types that it's labeled as the International Museum of Stone Forest Karst. Halong Bay, Vietnam Near the Chinese border with Vietnam lies one of the most beautiful natural wonders of the world, Halong Bay. The area is a collection of 1,600 limestone islands and islets that make up an area of 1,500 square kilometers or 932 miles. The area is jam-packed with biodiversity and surreal scenery, much of which is uninhabited and undisturbed lush vegetation. It lends itself to exploring on foot with plenty of walks and hikes amongst the craggy bluffs and isolated bays. There are plenty of secluded spots to find the island beach to relax on. Maybe you can join a happy throng on one of the busier islands and enjoy tourist attractions on and off the water. The islands are littered with caves to explore for the more experienced Blunkers. Mi Kung Cave is one of the most popular caves and the English translation is the Bewitching Grotto. It's famous for being the most picturesque cave in Halong Bay, but expect a narrow squeeze past a tight entrance into the cave. Once inside, you'll be treated with stunning stalagmites and stalactites in the main chamber. You can also venture deeper in search of fossils hidden inside the cave's depths. Bungle Bungle Range, Australia Until 1983, the only people who knew about Bungle Bungle Rocks were the local Aboriginal people in the Kimberley area of Australia. It was in that year that widespread media coverage on the area exploded and suddenly all eyes were on this magnificent natural wonder. The Bungle Bungle Range is made up of sandstone towers that reach heights of 250 meters or 820 feet. They are beehive shaped and got this strange shape from erosion by wind and rain which slowly sculpted the layered mountains of clay and sandstone. The variations in layers of clay and sandstone create bands of various colors in the rock towers. Stacks of lines of gray to orange stand tall in the same place they first formed 350 million years ago. Bungle Bungle has also been an important part of Aboriginal culture for 40,000 years. So after the mass interest in the early 80s, a national park was created in 1987 to protect the precious area. The Giant's Causeway, Northern Ireland The first time you see this hexagonal undersea structure rising onto the shore of Northern Ireland, you'll find it hard to believe that it isn't man-made. The Giant's Causeway is a UNESCO World Heritage Site which is a result of volcanic activity. The heat and cooling of lava led to the irregular shape of salt columns that pushed up through fissures in the ocean floor. In total, there are around 40,000 hexagonal columns and the area is a popular diving spot as there are a number of shipwrecks along the coast. The Queen's Head, Taiwan The Queen's Head in Taiwan is a sight to behold, but sadly, it is not clear how much longer the Queen's Neck will hold up for. The stone monument is a completely natural phenomenon, although it does appear like a man-made carving along the lines of Mount Rushmore. The sandstone rock is said to resemble the profile of England's Queen Elizabeth I. Rather than man, this ode to Queen Elizabeth I is the work of millennia of wind and sea erosion that created this mushroom-shaped rock. The rock is under the risk of disappearing if it can't be protected from further marine erosion. The rock is battered by waves from typhoons and is also at risk from earth tremors during earthquakes. The Great Yaliyu Geopark is full of unique and otherworldly rock carvings with 180 interesting stone formations to soak in. 
The park attracts 3 million tourists each year, so losing these unique structures could be a disaster. To put into perspective the rate of deterioration, the neck of the Queen's Head has lost 12 centimeters to its circumference in the past 8 years. Tests have been concluded on similar rocks to try out the ways to protect them. Solutions have included a glass box around the Queen's Head to coat it with a type of nanotechnology paint. But so far, none of these have been proven right for the job. So for now, the Queen's Head remains in a precarious position relying on the neck that holds her up. The Akakis Mountains, Libya the Tadrard Akasis Mountains contain an impressive variety of rock and sand formations that were formed from millennia of desert winds and flash floods. The geological anomalies include differently colored dunes to arches, gorges, isolated rocks, and deep ravines. Some of the structures date back to as far as 12,000 BCE and has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985. The White Desert, Egypt If you ever wondered what heaven may look like or if it exists, this might be on the right track. Located in the far off Ra oasis in the western desert of Egypt, the White Desert has many chalky rock formations that have been formed due to occasional sandstorms. The depression of this area reaches 980 kilometers squared or 380 square miles. Despite it being the second biggest in Egypt, it has the smallest population of just 5,000 residents. The White Desert or Sahara El Baida is a national park, and these chalk white rock formations are prime examples of Ventifact. That means when stone is shaped due to the erosive action of sand being swept against it. It's a very popular camping area, and there are some very unusual formations that have been nicknamed the chicken and tree set or the chicken and mushroom. And people love to watch how these stones change faces as the sun set and the colors are reflected off their white surface. Those fortunate enough to see the moon reflecting will witness a ghostly luminous glow. Here are Bolton, Norway. This is a must-see if you're heading to Norway and fancy yourself up for a little challenge. It's a natural marvel that will offer you a surreal view of the Kirak Mountains in Rogaland in Norway. This massive rock is wedged between two cliffs and sits 1,000 meters or 3,280 feet high. Some reports suggest that it's a doable hike for most people as long as you're fit, while others remind you that it's listed as a grade red, which means only experienced hikers should go up there. It's certainly an incentive to get fit and train enough because it'll be a view that you'll never forget. As if the thrill of standing on the boulder wasn't enough, some people like to use this spot for base jumping as they launch themselves up into the air. We'll stick to the regular hike, thank you very much. Organ Pipes, Namibia You can't go wrong with a trip to Namibia where you'll have the ocean on one side and the desert on the other side. The weather is balmy and the cities offer loads of things to do for locals and tourists. Located in the Burt Mountains, you'll find a stretch of Dolomite columns roughly 100 meters or 328 feet long. They've earned the nickname of Organ Pipes because they look so similar to organ pipes in a church organ. They've been there for roughly 120 million years and form when molten rocks force its way through the earth. What's great about the organ pipes is that they're located not too far away from the petrified trees. These fossilized trees are estimated to be at least 280 million years old. The trees are not local to Namibia and were probably washed down a river during ancient times after an end of an ice age. If given the opportunity, which of these incredible rock formations would you like to visit the most? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And number one, Three Whale Rocks, Thailand. If you're an adventurer in search of sites off the beaten path, then Three Whale Rocks at Phu Sing is new on the tourism beat. It could be completely worth a visit too. It is three smooth rock formations jutting out from the dense forest that looks like a family of whales swimming through the green landscape. It's not a straightforward trip, and is relatively a secret spot that you'll need a guide and getting there involves some coordination with transport providers. The road is small and dusty and at times muddy and definitely requires some skilled 4x4 navigation. The bird's eye view of the whale shaped rocks are spectacular, so if you are a drone aficionado, you'll definitely be in a 7th heaven. Just be sure to check on permissions required before you launch.